Did y'all see that? Hey guys, it's Night and Day, and welcome to and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming Cosmo and Wanda Ain't Slick Makeup Edition. Like, I just thought about this the other night, and it's been in my reminders for a minute. So I was like, you know what? I might as well film this. Obviously, I look so ugly right now. Like, my hair is not done. I need to take it out. I'm taking it out tonight, but you guys will see all of that because I'm doing one of those like quarantine glow up transformation videos and also during this video i'm gonna be answering answering Ooh, my british accent poked out but i'm gonna be answering you guys' questions i literally like 20 minutes ago asked people to ask me questions on instagram haven't checked it yet um let's hope people ask me questions or i'm gonna have to find a tag on google i'm about to make my like before videos on tiktok and then i'll get right past this is so gross <laughs> before i get started how's everyone I just hope everyone's doing well if you're not being productive i hope you get productive because like honestly right now is the like best time to be productive it's my brush holder if you guys are ever wondering so let me just get into these questions real quick though i'm probably gonna do a poll on instagram if you guys want me to do like a beginner type like how to do your makeup basically how i figured out how to do my makeup i came in with new 40 dollars how do you stay motivated with YouTube? Honestly, I've always really enjoyed making YouTube videos. Like, it's just always been a thing. Even if I wasn't active on YouTube, I would still, like, make little, like, I always make my own intro, my own outro, experiment with, like, transitions and green screen and just all that type of stuff. Editing and filming and taking pictures and stuff like that has just always been, like, my thing, I feel like. But if you're just, like, getting into this because you want a hobby, I feel like to stay motivated is just, like, telling yourself that like one day you're gonna get like the appreciation you deserve for all the hard work you put in just keep thinking about your future and manifesting your future that's really how i stay motivated if you actually pay attention <laughs> or you watch my videos you know that um i'm not really like focused on numbers anymore like i don't care how my videos do like i will obviously i hope like every video does good relatively for my channel going on youtube studio every hour checking to make sure that my video is doing good like i used to because i used to do that a lot if you're trying to stay motivated do not compare yourself to other people because that's the first problem for a moment a couple months ago i literally caught myself like only watching other people's videos just to see what they're doing so that i can do it so that i can grow a bigger audience um i hope my face makeup doesn't come out bad just taking that route i think i put too much of that green stuff on then and now i still i was still doing it because i love doing it but then i had like alternative motives at the time i low-key want to try contouring tonight somebody's makeup tutorial i seen they was like drag the contour down does something i mean i'm not sure that just worked or not i do like putting bronzer on them for whatever reason i'm not sure i'm trying this new thing where like i start putting away my makeup as i go i will literally just start leaving stuff like right in front of me like everywhere on to the next question oh i have more questions okay fave quarantine activity say either showering doing my makeup working out or filming and editing let me prime my eyes though and to prime my eyes you guys i literally just use concealer it was making tiktoks too but like tiktok is low-key getting a little bit boring these are my those are my black glasses that i wear when i edit i think it's getting boring because like we used to only get on tiktok because we were bored but now we're bored all the time how do you come up with video ideas okay well mainly i need more makeup palettes so makeup brands, if you're watching this, please send me makeup for this green and this pink here. Let's get started. Some video ideas, honestly, like it's just if I see a video that I like, honestly, I just like, oh, I'm doing it. Like I just be like, oh yeah, I'm about to do that video. And I also plan ahead a lot. Like I have a whole planner full of video ideas that I have. Most of those got canceled because they were mostly for like vacation that I have. It's canceled because of Corona. So at this point, I'm just doing like videos that I like to do. I'm just, you know, that I've always wanted to do like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. I'll tell you guys my favorite YouTubers. I really enjoy Azalea's videos, um, Dez Muchada, like just basically anybody that like acts like me. <laughs> Low key, I kind of want to do like it to be cut like that. Do I have tape? I only have this tape, and this is literally like tape you put on your wall. But I mean, it'll work, you know? Okay, hopefully this works. But yeah, like any of my favorite YouTubers that I watch, if they do like a cool video, I'll like obviously be like, okay, yeah, I want to film this video too. I'll go on like my 
what is it? I was gonna say my for you page. I'll go on like my YouTube home page. It's trending, like if it's like right at the top, I'll just do it. I'm just putting some of the darker green towards the end so it can kind of like fade. Just let me get another question. How is it working at Foot Locker? Have you ever had a rude customer? Working at Foot Locker is just average, like, <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it a lot and I'm actually really happy that was my first job to be honest with you guys. I, I can't work in food. If you ask anybody that knows me, I feel like everybody just knows that I could never work in food. I mean, although I've never tried. After hearing like stories and just the whole like idea of working in food, I definitely could not do it like at all. Y'all, this doesn't come out cute. I'm gonna be so upset. I've definitely had rude customers before. I feel like that's any job though. That's the one thing about working in retail or just working with people in general. And like my facial expressions are kind of ridiculous sometimes. So it's just like when people talk to me crazy, although I don't say anything, my facial expressions just give it off. Fave memory of this year so far? Well, I'm not sure. Like this year has been just really rocky, so. If I'm being really honest right now, New Year's Day, like the whole day of New Year's and New Year's Eve would have to be like my favorite memory of this year. After that, things just took a turn. What do you think will be the hardest about living on your own when you go to college? Oh, that's actually a really good question. Well, hopefully we can go to college. I mean, cooking sometimes. It's definitely different. I like that, but is it cute is the question. Yeah, this is cute. I like this. I find it hilarious. I literally have to do like my signature look pose just to see if I like it or not. What was I saying though? Yeah, I don't know. I think the hardest thing would be like cooking or just like getting tips and tricks like with little things. Oh, and then not having like family time. Like, you know, I already I've done my own laundry my whole life because like personally i don't see how people not do their own lunch I, I cook i go to the grocery store all the time by myself like i love going to the grocery store actually it's really peaceful and relaxing not recently but before what made you start doing youtube just watching youtube videos i've been watching youtube and like people on youtube videos since before like i was even able allowed to be on youtube like i was like 10 11 maybe 9 any hygiene tips or tricks that when you're in the shower don't just use body wash i don't understand why people do that use bar soap and then body wash that's something i do look you want to do eyeliner you guys so but i'm gonna do the eyeliner i'm just gonna trace it like that oh and girls it's okay to sleep without underwear on not really hygiene but it's still a tip to put out there <laughs> that's cute wow this is gonna be a little bit hard oh shit. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. They're not twins though. This one goes out, this one goes up. Okay, you guys, this is as good as we're gonna get with them. So hopefully lashes can fix it. But now let me go back to Instagram and finish these questions. What's some advice you give people that are looking for colleges? Favorite highlighter in the land? I would definitely say don't rush and expect the unexpected because honestly, I was looking for colleges for my college search, I guess you can say, I was looking for colleges in Michigan. All of a sudden, the college that now is my college came out of nowhere. I didn't even know what this college was prior to them sending me mail. What are some must-haves when talking to a guy taller than me? I'm not tall, I'm 5'4". I mean, I feel tall because my legs are long. You have to be able to make me laugh. Like, that's a big thing. Having, like, dry conversations, no laughter, then yeah, you're, you're a no-go. You have to be able to dress. I cannot be out here with nobody to know how to match or color coordinate. Like, I'm not trying to be matchy-matchy with you, but if you don't know how to match your own clothes, then no. Not entrepreneurial mindset but at least like a mindset where like you know what you want to do with your life these are just like smaller not so big blink but they're really cute and fluffy what's your biggest pet peeve it's definitely when people act like they can't hear me when the same person repeatedly asks me the same question or like continuously says the same thing over and over again that hurts my nerve social media wise and in person like if i have to keep repeating myself how do you by the way i love you i'm a big fan <laughs> love your videos love you too thank you i'm 18 years old i am grown period so no i don't have that mindset for real unless you're really like living on your own and paying all your own bills i feel like you shouldn't just be saying no matter how old you are i feel like you just shouldn't be like i'm grown blah, blah. when you go ahead with the story times well 
I've done story times in the past, but like literally in the past like three months, I've done story times. And whenever I do story times, they seem to always not do good. And I'm speaking from a perspective of where I was at before. Like when you know I was always thinking about numbers, so I plan on filming and posting some more soon. So stay tuned. <gasps> Did y'all see that? What was that? <laughs> that was a little wild. I know y'all heard that. That was a little that was a little caught me off guard. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm about to literally just lay my edges like I do every time. Yeah, I'm definitely taking these out. Good night. And I'm about to change. And we're about to put together a little something, something. Y'all, the reason why I keep having these braids in for so long, though, is because, if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm kind of scared about what I would do like, with my natural hair in the time like this. Let me change, and then I'll come back with my edges or not. Okay guys, so I'm back. You guys can't probably see it because it's like really overexposed on camera. But I have them bright green like tank top. If you guys want to see like the finished product, go follow me on Instagram because I know I'm about to post. Super cute. I wish I can go somewhere. That's the look. It's really cute actually. And I kind of like it with the little ponytail even though my ponytail is raggedy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Follow me on all my social media. Follow my spam account at Naya the Papaya. Yeah, shop my merch, shop my clothing brand down below, link down below, and my red bubble. I saw my art, but like whenever I get bored, I, do, I like to, you know, do art. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I've been taking pictures for some time now, and let me just say, this is probably like one of the cutest looks I've done. Like, top three of right now. Like, is this one, um, that purple look I did a long time ago it's on my instagram and then it's like stuck between the glitter tears and like i don't know that one neutral look i did honestly i think i got enough pictures i really hope i did yeah but i'm about to take this off right here on camera i'll just add this to the video why not um because i want to really try these I'm so happy I have a video with this look because this is so cute. Usually, like, I have my makeup on after I'm done for, like, a good, like, hour or two. It's over. Man, sad, sad, sad. If you're watching this far into the video, post me. Take a boomerang of this <laughs> and post it on your Instagram story and mention me in it. That's how I know you're a real one, bro. I'm so sad. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That feels great. Removes makeup without harsh rubbing. These are really good makeup wipes. I never can get all of my makeup off and with one makeup wipe. And my skin is in dry after. That's crazy. Oh, I hope one day they sponsor me so that we can all go back to this video and, like... <laughs> just talk about the fact that i've been using it i'm only getting i'm only gonna get these mega wipes for the rest of my life now thank you so much birch bees but yeah guys i'm about to actually take out my hair but you guys will see that in a later video probably i don't know i'm not sure so that is actually the end of this video and i hope y'all i mean did y'all enjoy this last part i'm not sure i'll catch y'all oh my goodness wait Catch you guys in my next video. Bye.